Good afternoon. Today I'm going to explain how to register guests of vocational rents into police. There is nothing difficult about it, but it is mandatory and there is penalty for those who don't do it. So it's better to organize it so you register all of your guests that are older than 16 year old. So how to do it? The only difficult part of the police registration is obtaining the passwords and the username for for entering the, the police website. So it's web ball something and you enter your codes and in there you just um, fill in all the gaps that are needed. And to obtain those codes, you just need to well call your police station that, that is nearby and, and ask them for appointments. Uh, when you go there, uh, you bring with you, make sure to bring with you the, uh, uh, the license for the tourist license from Punta Andalusia, your um, house deeds, and your NIA or your ID card. And we, with those photocopies of those documents, uh, they usually just um, um, check it all and give you some, some usernames and passwords which you enter the website and with them you can easily put all the information regarding each guest into the police station. And also the police gives you the form, the formulary that you need to fill in for each of the guests. And in this form uh, they ask for many details like the, like the age of the client, the date of uh, the entry to the house, date of departure, um, um, many things. So maybe it's a bit troublesome when you receive the guests and you explain them things about your house, also to collect all this information, and especially if it's a big villa and maybe there are 16 guests and all of them are going to be filling their, all this so um, what we do usually is uh, use an app, the mobile phone app. There are many, but we work with Check-in Scan, which is very handy because they have this um, possibility to just make a photo of the ID card of the customer, of the guest, and all the information is just copied. And then you have possibility for them to sign just directly on the screen and the PDF is generated and um, this PDF is kept on, on on the cloud three years. This is what police ask for. And also it is automatically sent um, to the police because uh, previously you have entered uh, your password. So, so it's automatically boom, you just make photo, they sign and it's sent. Next, make photo of the ID, they sign and it's sent. And it's very easy and you don't have to worry about anything else. So we recommend you do it. If you need any assistance or help, make sure you call our office and we'll be very happy to help you. And this way you comply with the rules. If you don't want to use the apps, you have other possibilities. Like you just make photocopies of this form that police gives you, write down all the information uh, manually, and then you copy all this information into the web poll website and, and just send it. But you have to keep the, the sheet for three years just in case the police ask for it. And, and that's it basically. This is very easy. So I hope you do it and, and avoid all the penalties and make sure that police is on your side. Thank you for, for watching.